we would hope that there will be more humanity in political decision making at the global level. You know, there's no deficit of humanity in this world. Let's go to the poorest country on the Human Development Index, Niger, and see there the humanity of the local population in embracing uh, the refugees who are fleeing. We need to have that humanity central to uh, how we act and how we decide. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was in South Sudan and I saw the IOM staff there in Malakal, um, and they were dealing with a, a very big influx and they were dealing with it um, in such an effective way. I, I, I was just so inspired. Um, the dignity of people was central to their consideration and, uh, and the results were, were, were very impressive in the way that they were able to operationalize um, in the face of what would otherwise have been an overwhelming uh, circumstance. I remember very clearly when we declared level three crisis in the Central African Republic, a lot of organizations struggled to become operational quickly in that uh, particular crisis. But IOM stood out. Uh, and they were there uh, in the airport facilitating the repatriation of those who were in a very vulnerable uh, uh, situation and they again were doing it at speed. I just want to again um, make sure that people realize that they're not just platitudes, there are very real examples on a daily basis of IOM setting the what I would say is the gold standard for response. Um, uh, in speed, efficiency and, and effectiveness um, on a daily basis.